So welcome back, my friends, to the show that does end. Here we go with part uh, part 21 now in this Pokemon Silver walkthrough. And this time around, I got some things to take care of real quick. Namely, catching some Pokemon, hopefully. Um, I did deliver the mail in the last part. Very successful, part 20. And um, other than that... We'll be moving on to Ecruteek City here in a little bit. And I'm just going to ride around here at Route 36 for a while. Try to find the Stantler and Vulpix that I can catch. Add to my team as I just got the Sudowoodo. Which was a great victory for us. And here's a Vulpix. Level 13 Vulpixes appear 10% of the time in the daytime or morning. 15% uh, in the afternoon and then 10% at night. And we'll switch on over to, hmm, don't have a lot of options, but Gatorade for Alligator. I'm going to try to use Rage on this guy and keep it alive still. I never understood that, like, is it, that's obviously its other arm on the other side of its body, but it looks like some sort of, like, growth on its back or, or like, a wave or something like that. But for Alligator, is a cool Pokemon nonetheless, and beautiful down all the way to very low level of HP and I have my drowsy and I'm gonna hypnotize it now it's working out well obviously I need a firestone to get this guy through a nine tails but won't be concerned with that as be as I'm um, not gonna be using the hit uh, wow Vulpix again as I did in the blue walkthrough stay alive thank you Hypnotize, and I did see a stage hypnosis this year at my school, which was freaking hilarious. Just thought I'd throw that in there. They're funny if you can get your hands on one or uh, a ticket to see one. So hypnotized and low health. I'm gonna go. I think the Poke. I have faith in the Pokeball. This uh, these circumstances. And Vulpix. Thankfully. Vulpix obliges and is willing to be added to my Pokedex as I reach over for my water bottle. That is 50 less plastic, 50% less plastic. If it's attacked by an enemy, then it's stronger than itself. It feigns in injury to fool the enemy and escapes. Oh, it's playing possum. Even though you're a fox, that's still pretty creative. And we've caught ourselves a bull Vulpix now, so let me cross that off the list after taking a drink of water. Alright, back to the grindstone. So, now that Vulpix is caught, I'm going to try to find the Stantler that I've been looking for now. These guys are 5% all day, so the opportunity is relatively slim. But, there is still an opportunity, as Dumb and Dumber would say. And i got to get well about another haircut or something like that uh, to keep him nice and chipper. And who are you? Oh, I needed to catch one of you guys anyway, so, hey, kill two stone with one bird. And, um, if anybody cracks me, I'm just gonna smack them upside the head. And that would not be a smart move right there. I'm gonna bring out the drowsy, why don't I? It's a poison type, so if I have a psychic move, I might be able to do some damage. But so will he. Pound, mother of crap. I don't give that it's not very effective. It's not very funny. And I'm going to pull out my Sun Curtain now. And this is not going to be effective either. You better not faint on me. Grass against poison. Not your most intelligent move on my part. Uh, that's why this is not going to be something I'm going to continue to pursue. And we're going to bring out... At this point, there's no real difference as to what I bring out, as if I use Rage, I'll probably knock this Nidoran off the face of the earth. So I'm just going to go with the Great Ball right now to get that opportunity out of the way, so I don't feel like I should have just used Great Ball right away. And disobedient little Nidoran female. Don't you growl at me. I'll chop at you. For alligator is not your most cordial Pokemon. And we're gonna use Rage, why don't I? See if it pays off. Oh, I'll take it. 
So, now with that opportunity, I might use my revive now, try to get, try to get my friend Drowsy back up and running. Where are you at? There you are. And now that Drowsy is revitalized, great word choice there. Thankfully it hit two times if it was a double kick. Uh, Drowsy is going to be sent out and see if he can do work for me. Tackle and hypnotize time. Mother of crap, you are too fast for him. Oh, how lovely. Fell asleep. Pack time. And friends at home. Use your Pokeball. No need to pull out the Great Ball now. Although I might have to. Always start with the Pokeball. And then go up with it and Nidoran is caught. We're going to add it to our Pokedex now. Still, we've got to find the Nidoran male, but that's one step closer. Although not, very, but although not very combative, it will torment its foes with poison spikes if it is threatened in any way. It looks more like whiskers to me. I don't see too many spikes on you. I'm not going to name you. Sorry. So, continue on here on pretty fruitful Route 36. Uh, and Route 37 is going to be an interesting route to go on. And I've already seen one of you guys, so you can head on back. And I'm gonna run away, run away. Genoese warship sighted. And the screen will pixelate and it will bring us a Pidgey. So, uh, I'm gonna discuss sun, my sun uses of Sunkern with you. Uh, I was looking at Sun Florida stats and Sunkern stats and potential moves that it will learn as it increases in level. And I saw that Sunkern at level 19 uses uh, learned Sunny Day, which is not a bad move. Synthesis and Giga Drain at 46. Sun Florida learns level 10 at, uh, Razor Leaf at level 10. Uh, level 30, 31, Petal Dance at level 46, Solar Ream. So with that being said, although I won't be able to get that Razor Leaf unless I were to uh, get a Pokemon egg of a Sun Current or whatever, and then evolve it to Sun Floor before level 10. I'd rather have a Mega Drain, and then that's the Pokemon I'm looking for. And then Petal Dance and Solar Beam from Sun Floor. So once I get up to level 19, I'm gonna um, evolve my Sun Current up to Sun Flora with a, uh, what's it called? Sunstone. So I'll be getting that Sunstone off screen again, like I said before. Uh, and that's, those are my plans with uh, the Sun Flora because I want to have those moves it learns. Not really interested in getting Giga Drain, although it heals you, it's not nearly as powerful as Petal Dance and Solar Beam, obviously. Rage Relief is 15 more. Dang it. Uh, it's 15 more power than um, the aforementioned Mega Drain. So, and I am kind of upset that I got. Let that Nidoran mail. Oh! Oh! You tricking me now? Sending out your twin sister, brother, excuse me. Take no offense. Uh, and those are my plans. I won't tell you any of the other Pokemon that I'm looking to catch for my team. That is classified information to all of you guys. Um, and in Acrotique City, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm going to do already. you got to face Morty, whose gym is pretty interesting. Uh, it's one of the more interesting gyms in the game. Um, and then we're going to... And I'm going to heal up my... Do I have a super potion? Perfect. I'm going to heal up my drowsy real quick. Uh, i got to face Morty. Then i got to go to the Kimono Girls. Do that whole ordeal. Uh, take care of that. And then I have to... Why did I use a super potion? Could have just used a potion. Um, and then... Now this anteater's out. Warn attack. No one asked for that move. Double kick. Triple kill. Kill tacular. Oh, critical. And that's all I get. Okay. Um, hypnotize you. Hypnotize me, Captain. Speedy. Oh, there we go, Speedy Gonzalez. Pound time. Press pound. 
And, um, you know, that's not great, but it's it's progress. And we're going to use our Pokeball now. Obviously, no other move that I have with one of my higher level guys is going to do me any good. And there she blows. Nidoran is caught. That's going to finish off my Nidoran female and male expedition here. It raises its big ears to check its surroundings. It will strike first if it senses any danger. So just like the last poison pin, I will not name you either. And I'm going to cross this off my list. Give me a sec. Okay, so um, all that we have left to catch is the Butterfree and National Park. But I'm just going to raise my Caterpie up. I believe I'm going to do that. Uh, then a Pinsir. Abra Ditto. And couple guys with headbutt but that's kind of something I don't really care about right now uh, and then Yanma but I'm gonna wait for uh, whatever that bug catcher's name for him to notify me of that so I'm gonna head back to Goldenrod City right now and I don't believe today's Monday or Tuesday oh nice it is today I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna do it might as well as I will get uh, that's that's fine. Um, no, it's not actually. It's not okay. So I'm going to. Um, who am I going to use? I'm going to use Gate. I'm going to use. No, I'm just going to do the Gold Bat. Whatever. Today's Tuesday, Gromit. Porridge. Tuesday, Gromit. Porridge today, Gromit Tuesday. That's what it was. And I'm gonna go with Golbat. And now to head out. And my goal for this is catching the Butterfree and the Pincer and keeping the Pincer out front. Yes, yes, I know the rules. Thank you for informing me again, though, doing your job. I wanna have your job. I was watching Jay Leno headlines, and it, this is the best job. Work needed on weekends around noon for about 10 minutes. We'll pay. Hilarious. I was dying. Uh, those headlines are just darn funny. Go watch one of those. Don't watch one of these videos. You will cry your head off of laughter watching one of those guys. Or watch uh, the Vietnamese Crystal walkthrough. Or let's play with that delicious cinnamon. Oh, and here's a Butterfree. I love it. Hmm, that's a nice blue. Nice turquoise. And we're going to use my whiff. I don't think that'll knock this guy out. Oh, goodness. I feel like I just got gutted by a deer. I'm going to gut you like a deer. Uh, and here's Metapod. I do, I do believe I have a Metapod in the... Maybe I don't, though. I'm going to check my uh, Pokedex if I can... If I'm allowed to do that in this such a restrictive... Um, arena. And let's speed it up. Let's speed up the rotation here. Cubone. You know what? That, I'm going to save that for a rainy day. Let's, let's just keep going. And the, the, uh, the pond in the middle of the National Park is a, is a uh, Pokeball. Just thought I'd tell you guys that. And I believe I did catch a venom out already, so I don't think that the Pokeball really applies on the side of the screen telling you what Pokemon you caught or not. So you can just ignore that as you're in the uh, National Park. Here's the Weedle, and if I, oh, maybe it doesn't though. Oh, that's, that's good news, because I need to catch some of these guys, and that'll be nice if I can just catch this Venonat right now and get it on over with. Weedle, find someone else to bug. No pun intended. Oh. Oh, how did I come up with that one? And someone needs to trim this grass up here. Unless it really adds to the life of the Pokemon. And I like that they made an improvement from the Safari Zone in the original Pokemon. That thing is just massive. It's kind of overwhelming. You don't really know where the Pokemon that you need to catch are in. And because of so many areas, you're not very confident that you're in the right place all the time. And I don't like that uncertainty. I like this... Uh, this 
design that they have where all the Pokemon that you're going to be able to catch are on one spot. Keeps it simple, keeps it fun. And I think Pokemon really got away from that, and that's why it lost some of its flavor for me as it went on through the series is that it, that it had. Um, and I'm going to use Bite and see if this will keep him alive. Oh, it does. So I'm going to use my Park Ball now. Uh, try to catch his Venonat. That'll take care of one. One thing I'm gonna have to worry about later on in the game: one Pokemon, uh, one less Pokemon, and a Gray Ball. Oh, and I did catch the Venonite. It was very uh, obedient there. Ideally, once again, you want the status changers. Poison oozes from all over its body and catches, as it catches, eats it catches and eats small bugs at night that are attracted by light. Okay, so obviously you can uh, choose which Pokemon that you want to have enter into the contest. I'm not going to use the Venonat, although I, you do see some people with Venonats frequently winning, which is kind of strange. Um, and we've got about three minutes left. I'm just going to play out the string here and see if I can't catch a pincer. If I run into a pincer, I better not fail. Another darn hairy bug Pokemon getting in my way. Uh, get away safely. And here's a Metapod. Another guy I gotta catch here. And you know what? I'm gonna use Bite. Not too concerned about it retaliating, obviously. Got pretty good defense, and it goes down. Down goes Frasia. Golbat's just too strong. Doesn't know his own strength. As we get into the little bit more manageable size grass. I can actually see above my eyeballs. And I didn't catch a Caterpie either. Am I lame or what? Jeez, man. And I believe someone has won with a Caterpie before. And if you do that, you must be paying off the National Park Guards because that is just defying the law of nature. Its feet has suction cups designed to stick to any surface. It's nature to the climbs, trees, or forage. You know what I was kind of considering doing? Um, uh, and that should they should both add it to my Pokedex. What I was kind of considering doing was doing a Caterpie solo run. But, you know what, I'm kind of thinking that over. And I'm like, you know what? People kind of would get bored of seeing String Shot and Tackle, so I might stay away from doing that. Just saying. Um, but if you ever want to see it, just message me and I might try to think something up similar to that. Maybe a Rattata solo run, but I believe I've seen something like that before. Or a Pidgey solo run, potentially. And here comes another Caterpie. Not that we haven't seen one of these guys before. I don't know what I like. I, I'd say I like Caterpie more than Weedle. I would say probably my most feared, one of my most feared bugs is the Centipede or Millipede. Just... Those things really do not appeal to me. And I'm going to use Bite, and this should keep this Metapod alive all the way up to level 17. Uh, Metapod, where is your so praised defensive levels and statistics? And yes, the Tornado Silent Siren is playing. And here's a site there. Some more experience points for me and my goal bet. Me and my arrow taking the high road. Wherever we go, it's me and my arrow. Have you ever seen that movie, The Point? Uh, then you are just my, one of my greatest friends because that is such an unknown movie that has a good point to it that I watched in my childhood, so it means a lot. And I'm just rambling on now. I really apologize for this. Here comes another Kakuna. I am just desperately waiting for that pincer to just bolt out of these this grass. Yes! You are the man, Pincer. You are the man. Please stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive! Thank you. Park ball time. And we have 18 to use. First time. Not a chance. Pokemon broke free. What is it going to use? It's going to use Vice Grip. It's a critical hit. That's good news. It only did... 11 damage. Second park ball. 
also a failure. Don't use bind, thank you. That just takes too long of a time. We're over 20 minute mark now, I understand this. Well, this is well worth the cause. And once again, on a different number of wiggles, the pincer breaks free. I understand that a bind was put on me. I'm in a bind too because I can't leave. This video is going to have to drag on because I'm in a little tussle with the pincer that's not being obedient. His horns are too darn big and I don't have hypnosis. Hypnotized. Oh, pincer, won't you just be a good boy? Actually, good girl you are. And come home with me and the rest of my Pokemon. You can sit in Bill's cozy box. What is he getting pumped for? Breaking loose from my Pokeballs again? My park balls? Ah! And I suppose I could use Confuse Ray, but that really does not help the cause. Neither does that. Vice Grip again, neither does that. And I would be very grateful if I could use one of my Great Balls now. I'm sick and tired of your crap, Pincer. And your binding of me. I'm not going to say a word. It's going to happen. Way to take it like a man, Golbat. Alright, time to intervene here. I'm going to have to give him some healing items. Um, can I do that? I can't. So I might have to run here. Oh dear. Uh, thank you for using that move. Yes, sir! You are mine! That's all I can say. Newly added to the data center of my Poke freaking deck. Swings its long antlers, wild less than antlers, during cold periods. It hides deep in forests. Uh, yes, I'm gonna switch Pokemon. Is that even a question? So, Pincer's caught. Let's check it out in the contest. I don't care if I have nine minutes yet. I'm finishing now. I am burnt out, my friend. If I finish third again, I'm gonna blitz this place. Thank you. Saita! Oh, I have a chance! Yes! You demand, Pincer! Thank you for the Sunstone! You are the guy. You, my friend in green right there, behind the counter, are my best friend. Oh, a sunstone. I can't even thank you enough for this. Can I give a award speech now? Or something? No, no pincer nickname. Okay, that's fine with me. See you later. Oh, wait, Bugcatcher, you're gonna congratulate me? Um, sure. Um, I'm not gonna go back to Route 31. Oh, maybe I will. I'll see you later. I'll see you guys later, too. What an awesome ending to this part. I'll see you back in Part 22 when we've been moving on to Ecruteague, finally.